Hey brewers and beer lovers, today I am going to be tasting this Oh for the Love of Pete Scotch Ale from Chris at Brick and Mortar Brewing and I've had it for a couple weeks so I've been waiting for the right time to try it and today seems like a good day. So he told me to let it warm up a little bit, it's been out of the fridge for about a half an hour See what it's got. Nice hiss. Not super loud, but good enough. Love the color on this. That's like nice dark brown with little red highlights getting just a whiff of smoke and a lot of multi sweetness the aroma is not overly smoky, smoky which um, with peat malt is pretty easy to do um, to kind of overpower everything with that but man Chris smells Smells like you did a good job. There's like, it reminds me of like when you have a campfire and it's burned down to just the coals and there isn't really a lot of smoke anymore, but there's definitely still some of that wood aroma. And even in the flavor, there's just a hint of just a little, little hint of smokiness. It's not even strong enough to say it tastes smoky, like there's smoke malt in it. But, but up front, it's got nice kind of dirt dark caramel sweetness that I tend to associate with um, darker crystal malts like 120 um, special B maybe kind of in those range where you, you start getting into plum and or prune more and um, like dark fig flavors and then as that goes away then there's that I think that's where I'm getting most of the smoke and it's more just a, a drying sensation on the palate that I don't pick up in other scotch ales and then that nice caramel sweetness kind of lingers and then there's another nice long um, smoky well it's not a smoky finish but there's kind of that the drying um sensation down the back of my throat that i associate with smoked um like smoked meats and smoked beers um and yeah it's this is a really good combination there's The recipe on this is just really, really good. It's got the right balance. The There's enough of that smokiness that it helps kind of reinforce the bitterness in the finish. Because it's sweet and malty up front. And then it helps preserve a, a nice dry finish at the end. And seven and a half percent. There is no harsh alcohol flavor. There's no 
signs of like a, a really warm fermentation. There's no um, off flavors from the alcohol in it. This is just really well done, Chris. And thank you for sharing. This is a, a really good beer. I can see why it won some awards. Yeah. Cheers, man. Th this is delicious. And I look forward to getting into some of the other beers that you gave me. And we will um, check those out a different time. But cheers, man. Brew up an adventure.